Hey guys, welcome to another video. I was gonna say repair, but it's not. It's preparation video for a car if you live in the Rust Belt, which I'm in the beautiful state of Illinois. Now, if you've seen the last episode, drove the car back from Texas, and it is nice. I'm gonna see the frame once again. I think did some preparations back in my place took off a few more things today I'm gonna go over the, the, the things uh, and we're gonna pressure wash this first we're gonna spray it with the greaser then we're gonna pressure wash everything and I mean every thing then I'm gonna wait overnight let it dry I'm, I'm actually gonna air dry it or air pressure dry it, air gun dry it, you know what I mean. Then we're gonna, we're gonna let it sit overnight, come back tomorrow morning and give it a paint job. I'm still debating if I'm gonna paint the frame only and the uh, different suspension components, the black stuff, or if I should paint the frame obviously and the, the floor underneath with the chassis saver paint. We're gonna see that tomorrow because I forgot to grab it when I'm keeping it warm. And then after, which I also forgot, I'm gonna show you the wax-like spray can by Emsoil. And that stuff is going everywhere. Over the, the, the chassis saver paint and the floor and suspensions, everywhere. Everywhere starting from here, down, inside the doors, inside the hood, inside the rear hatch, inside the rockers. Okay, I mean, I'm saying, not the exhaust, we're gonna leave the exhaust alone. Inside the frame, okay, on the, I mean everywhere, okay guys, when I say, when I mean everywhere, I mean everywhere, the obvious stuff. Now, let's, let's take a look, let's see what I took off to prepare this for the paint. Mod flaps, all the, the, well not all, but most of the brackets for the brake lines, just so I can have access to the frame. Here's more. All the brackets on the parking, bra parking brake line. Here are, is all the stuff. The spare, obviously. The hitch. Now you can see, I don't know if you're gonna see that or not, but uh, I did scuff up the frame. I did got, get lazy on the scuffing because it's, it's a lot of work. I'm gonna probably go over it once more once I pressure wash it. Here you can see, I don't know if you can actually see this or not, but I mean, first of all, look at this frame. We're in the Chicago area, guys. I did apologize to the car that I brought here. Uh, took off some of the heat shields. Like that one I want because it's kind of easy access going over it. But there was one right above here and right here. Not worry about this one because it's close to the catalytic converter. So not naturally that's going to dry up quickly. Uh, yeah, but this did some scuffing basically. Well, almost everywhere. There is a, there's a little bit of rust in this area. In here but most of it this is the worst part of the whole frame this part here the front the very front but this is gonna get the chassis saver and we're gonna spray the Amsoil stuff inside every hole we find we're also gonna take a look inside the frame I got a new toy took off these uh, funny covers over here this one just disintegrated very brittle they didn't take these off because I did try take two of those off and they kind of broke on me so I'm gonna just kind of lift it whatever I can't get with the because I'm gonna I'm gonna be brushing on the paint uh, and whatever I can't get to I'm gonna just spray the MZO stuff the wax stuff you'll see and I did take this apart the fender and there was I mean I, I think I, I showed it to you well, there was a lot, I mean a lot of leaves, vegetation and stuff like that. And I took off these clips for this, these plastic rocker covers and we're gonna 
just kind of bend this back and spray some stuff in there I did took off the oh yeah I should mention the fuel tank cover which is right there and the step tubes I want to show you something check this out I know it's not a big deal but look at this this is just some dirt sitting right above the step tube bracket you know that stays there long enough it's gonna rust I'm gonna spray stuff inside there obviously inside there, just everywhere guys all the holes in the frame look at the sneak peek at the frame inside I don't know if you see this or not but this thing is clean but it's got some issues I did mention I think I did mention a few mechanical issues I'm not gonna take the rear bumper off or the front bumper off for now in the future I will to paint the you know I guess the other side of the frame so whatever we, I can reach I will not taking this off because that includes taking the bumper off because I gotta take these bolts off I'm gonna paint all of the rear diff suspension parts probably the backing plates of the backing plates and like I said whatever I can reach or like stuff like this I'm not gonna paint with chassis saver just spray the wax over all over this and the only way part I can get to the frame with chassis saver is this just not enough space even after taking off the cover but I'm not dropping the fuel tank now look this was I mean this is plastic this is not rust but good thing I took the cover off check this out this is gonna get painted separately what else we can see over here I'm gonna do a transmission service drain plug very thoughtful oh, actually no that's this is probably the drain plug this is the fill plug I'm guessing what does it say check okay so this is the check plug this is the drain plug I don't know if the transmission fluid was changed or not but we're gonna do it anyways I don't see a dipstick here anywhere I mean this is just amazing you know if you don't live in the rust belt then you just don't understand this I am so excited about this frame like 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 a little kid it's it's crazy yeah I do not see a dipstick anywhere do I see rust over there something's red oh never mind that's the back of the, the cover Whew. well this is rusty the block is getting rusty can't paint the block actually I may paint the oil pen a little bit see how the paint the chassis saver takes on heat look this is not this is just dirt coolant leak we're gonna be replacing that all right guys it's it's late been here all day we didn't eat gotta get this done you know I'm, I'm, I'm probably going overboard but you know salt is salt it's gonna just eat this thing away especially if when they had these uh, still do rusting issues on the forerunners the sequoias the tundras the tacomas crazy so yeah let's get to spraying and washing just everywhere all right guys I'm gonna continue this and I guess after I I'm done pressure washing it we're gonna we'll see see you later all right guys so as you can see the frame is soaking well everything is you can see how dirty it is grimy and oh I mean um <laughs> this is this is nothing compared to cars here now oh, I'm gonna give you an example this is what you get and that's a German car anyways this is drying up quickly all right I'm gonna get pressure washing just run out of fuel literally 
I just did the front for like two minutes <laughs> and I ran out of fuel. Idiot! I'm a bit wet. Okay, well, I'm thinking since we're doing this, might as well do the engine bay from the top. Let's do that. Oh yeah. Yes, you can wash your engine bay. Done it many times, BMWs, whatever. Never had an issue. You may want to cover your alternator, but mine's on dump somewhere down there. I didn't even. As long as you don't spray at it, we'll be fine. So now we're gonna dry it up. Why do I keep saying we? It's I'm doing all the work. You're just watching. Basically, a lot of this everywhere. See you later. Guys, I'm blind, I'm deaf, and my hands are just falling off. Try blowing air for like an hour. I had to switch hands quite a bit. All right, this is what she looks like now. Pretty much the same, just wet here and there. Well, I mean, you know, clean. I'm not gonna worry about this grease on the shocks. Look what I found. A missing bolt on the transmission pan. I'm gonna have to address that. So that tells me that they did Replace on the filter and oil, but no, no idea what mileage. I'm still going to do that service. This is, I mean, this is so easy on this car. It's unbelievable. The pen is right there. Same thing with the oil pen on the engine. If you ever need to replace that, very easy access. All right, now, you know, the, the, the blowing part, that's while doing it, I figured it's a very important part you want to do. So not only you're, you know, you're blowing it dry, but you're also cleaning it from stuff that's stuck, has been stuck to it for years and years. So the paint coat is gonna last much, much longer. Now when blowing, I've noticed when I blew air into like, say this hole, a lot of water came out this, this hole and so on. So you wanna blow air inside the frame, inside these, I guess floor rails, I'm guessing, these are called. Okay, all these, you know, those right there. I mean, whatever you can find, especially these, look, there's still water coming down. I'm gonna give the rest today. It's late. I gotta eat and still do other work, crazy. But it's worth it, it's all worth it because I know it's gonna last much longer than it would if I didn't do anything, basically. All right, guys, so this is it. We're gonna let it dry overnight. That's probably gonna be like 14 hours or so by the time I'm, I'm back here. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. I'm still gonna go over blowing it in the, in the holes and stuff, you know, inside the frame, just to make sure it's super dry. If I have time tomorrow, I'm gonna address this, clean this up. Actually, maybe I should clean it today still. Hmm. No, don't feel like it. Here are those heat shields I was talking about. All right, guys. It's gonna be a few hours for me, a split second for you.